at this stage, what are you guys, what are you guys actually doing uh, to assess and to help out with this? The Springdale Chamber is trying to do what all chambers do in, in situations like this, and that's try to connect and convene and, and facilitate where we can. We spent the morning uh, calling businesses that appear to be in the path of the storm, seeing if they have any needs, trying to identify those. Meanwhile, we've been uh, reaching out to organizations, churches, partners in the community that typically uh, provide assistance and trying to identify just who's doing what. So then when we get calls, uh, we can help. And we also try to push that information out to our members uh, when, when they get questions, because uh, we know it's the day after is always a, a confusing time. This is going to be several days, obviously. It will be uh, very difficult to get down some of the streets impacted because uh, the damage, obviously, Springdale School District impacted pretty uh, severely with uh, George Elementary School. Also, Neil Fisk's uh, warehouse. Uh, it appeared as I drove around today, uh, the, the tail end of it, if you will, I'm going to sound like a weatherman and I'm not, but it appeared to be over in the uh, Northwest Technical Institute area where it clipped some trees and there was a damage of a building there that's one of our members. From there, it, it appeared to be kind of up off the ground and moving out. So a pretty good stretch from Johnson uh, picked up, of course, Brashear's Furniture and the Springville Country Club and, and in that diagonal pathway. Uh, but uh, hopefully uh, the, the loss of life and injuries will be minimal. Mm -hmm. Not exactly what the Chamber is there, but another aspect of why the Chamber of Commerce is there. You know, it's interesting. Uh, you, you never want to have to, to kick into an emergency mode, if you will, but so many of us learned a lot uh, the hard way when Joplin and their chamber had to go through what they had to go through. And so it really was a wake up call for chambers in this part of the country to make sure uh, we, we at least had an action plan to get on the phone, make sure people know that there's some help available if you need it. Uh, and that's what we can do is try to connect people who need uh, with people who can help. 